We should never be satisfied with a singular approach or perspective to developing effective learning environments. Most approaches are written from a very specific perspective and may not take into account your unique circumstances. Experimenting with a variety of approaches gives you the opportunity to take the best ideas from all these approaches and choose the parts or which ones that you want to apply to your situation. In the previous modules, we've explored how important it is to focus on connecting the dots rather than just collecting the dots by looking at conceptual frameworks. We've also identified the four keys to facilitating the growth of a learner's conceptual framework. First, providing the context for learning. Second, creating the environment. Third, modeling the learning process. Fourth, mentoring and coaching. Now, you have created a situational environmental outline um, that identifies the key components of your learning environment. Finally, you've also created a course map that identifies the key outcomes for your course and align those outcomes to activities and assessments. Now, you have the opportunity to take this foundational work and expand on it by using the Understanding by Design UBD approach. Um, and you'll notice that UBD is very similar to Fink's approach in that it is based on a backwards design principle. You start with where you want the learner to go or what you want the learner to become or who you want them to become and work backwards to get them there. I want to encourage you and also warn you at the same time that learning development and instructional design is an iterative and ongoing process. You're never going to be finished. I'm continually reviewing and improving my course maps, the three column tables that I use, and sharpening my outcomes, activities, and assessment in the courses I teach. I'm always making adjustments to the modules or sections of the course as I see what is working and, and uh, as I see what isn't. Please view your work in the previous modules and this module as a starting point or a foundation that you can build upon. As you actually see what is working or not in your learning environment, you can then make the necessary adjustments. The key is to have a solid foundation, very solid foundation, and I believe you will have this at the completion of this module.